Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome, welcome back, another unboxing, yes, another smartphone from the Elephone, Elephone, yes, a few weeks ago I done the review for the Elephone A4 Pro and a month ago for the Elephone A4, this is the A5, the uh, predecessor basically with the uh, powerful really underrated SOC from MediaTek Helio P60 uh, firstly we're gonna show you the price tags and make sure to help out my channel support my channel shop online with my links below uh, this one is from the Gearbest and Gearbest is selling it for $190 let me just enter this link and let's see here yep ninjas you can see myself $198 and Banggood is selling it for, let me see, one, $200. So Banggood is $2 more expensive. Uh, is it? Oh, it's on pre-order. Yeah, yeah, on both of them are pre-orders. Uh, nevertheless, beauty, such a beauty there. Uh, we will see uh, what, what kind of specs. This is just a quick unboxing and hands-on review you will have, I don't know, in upcoming few days or so. We will see. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to re release a full review, but uh, stay tuned, Ninja. Stay tuned. So let's see here what do we have in the box itself. Uh, the box, it's a standard elephant design here. I think they've been using the same, uh, same box like for two years or so. Let's see. Here we have the smartphone. We're gonna, we're gonna leave the smartphone there. Let's go. Okay. Anyway, so let's see here. What do we have? Elephone A5. Uh, this this is the biggest kind of competitor. If we forget about the Xiaomi and Honor, uh, to the Yumi DG, Yumi DG F1 and Yumi DG One Max. Uh, this smartphone is uh, right now in that list uh, for the choices. Watch. Uh, what you could get now right now for under th uh, 200 dollars here we have the case okay quality uh, tpu place a uh, case 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 oh what is this user manual okay sweet nice card pin to open our sim tray and we have a charger which is, let me see here 5 volts 2 amperes in just 5 volts 2 amperes european charger and we have a type c usb cable there you go type c usb cable medium length everything is fine so perfect perfect let's put our hands on this uh, beauty boom let's take this one firstly and done it i think i've done it did i Oh, I took even the screen protector now. Damn it, man. My mistake, Ninja. So don't do this, what i done here. This is what uh, they should um, be more kind of precise. Now I just lost my screen protector. Damn it, bro. Sorry, Ninjas. So uh, learn by my mistake. This is not the first time that it's happening to me, bro. But you, it's like stick it it's stick together. You can't even uh, peel it off correctly. So let's take here the back also. Just a minute. Okay, check it out ninjas, ah ha ha, beauty, such a beauty here, beautiful, love this color, gradient is kind of a gradient color, it's like, it looks like has like five different colors ninjas, pink, dark pink, dark blue, bluish dark, oh my god, looks amazing, you have to admit that this looks amazing, beautiful. Anyway, so uh, the quality, glass on the back, glass on the front, and uh, metal frames. Yes, these are metal frames, and this smartphone does look, and it is worth of its price tag. It doesn't feel cheap at all, man. No chance that this is a cheap smartphone in the quality, bro. Uh, also, what do we have here? Fingerprint sensor on the side. Power button, which is uh, kind of... Uh, I think maybe they patented, I don't know, no, 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 I saw that with the Smarty Sun, so something like this. It's a circle, small, small circle, Ninjas, and it's like kind of a rubbery circle, so you, honestly, you feel it, they so sturdy, it's like a, it's like a pressing a rock. Volume rocker, also super sturdy, it's not loosey at all, flimsy. <laughs> anyway, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, you can see by itself. On the left side, we have uh, the dual SIM acceptable tray. There you go. And we have on the bottom Type-C USB port, sound speaker, and a microphone. But where's the noise cancellation microphone? I don't see it here. Don't tell me they don't have it. They didn't include the noise cancellation mic in just. Unfortunately, they didn't. Or maybe they hid it somewhere here. I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyway, so what do we have on the back? Dual camera. I, I could say triple cameras, but this one is a dummy, Ninjas. I don't know why uh, Elephone done this. Honestly, I don't know why they done it. Uh, the, it's 8.1 millimeter thick, this device. So it's kind of a medium uh, thickness right now for these uh, smartphones. Uh, whether it be, whether it be uh, Xiaomi or 
honor or elephone, eulophone, you may digi, etc., etc. At least this one because it has a glass, so you can't expect to have uh, uh, honor play uh, thinness because that thickness because that smartphone is super thin, but it does have a metal body. Anyway, 200 grams, so it is a slightly heavy. This one, let's unlock it here. Use the fingerprint. Just a minute. Boom. Here we go, ninjas. We are in 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 the smartphone. Firstly, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go to advanced mode. Oh, just a minute. Where is the about the smartphone system? Yeah, ah, system. Here you go. First, let's see this one. Android 8.1.0 Oreo. Android security patch is from October. Damn, man, that's very old. So I hope that the uh, elephone will receive release an update. Let's check here. After the unboxing, no, I didn't receive any updates so far, ninjas. Remember that. Uh, updated to Android 8.1 since it has that kind of an Android stock experience. Beautiful. Android security patch from the fifth. Okay, nothing even here. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, basically you have uh, two. Uh, so far, I, see, I think there's only one color available on Gear Best, which you can see right now. Beautiful, beautiful screen, 6.18, or if I can circle it, it's 6.2, if I can do that, 6.2 inch full HD plus screen. Let me just find something for you, just a minute, we're gonna go with this video, let's find it out, yeah, let's go with this one. Okay, gonna put 1080p, and we're gonna, eh, perfect, now it's perfect. Okay. Beauty, beauty. Is that on the maximum? Right? Oh, no, it's not. It's not on the maximum. It's like on 50%. Oh, not bad. You can see myself here. I'm next to the window, so a lot of light is coming. So, still very visible. Very visible, no? Beautiful. Anyway, uh, LCD IPS screen, full HD plus resolution, 403 PPI, 2.5D curved glass screen, and it's also 10 touch capacitive screen. Uh, you can see myself that the vessels on the side vessels are thin. They are not thick at all, in my opinion. I think that iPhone XR has a thicker vessels on the side, Ninjas. Yes. Uh, we do have the notch, and right now, uh, the notch, you can't spread the YouTube, at least uh, not right now with this update. Maybe they're going to update it later on with Android 9 Pie. And I don't know, will they release Android 9 Pie for this smartphone, Ninjas? I'm not sure. M maybe they will. Maybe they will. Anyway, beautiful colors. LCD IPS. Beautiful, beautiful. So it has a Helio P60 SoC. We're gonna go quickly here. Just before that, I'm gonna just try to uh, type a little bit to, to show you the sensitivity of the screen. So far, the UI looks smooth, Ninjas. I don't feel some major stuttering or something like that. Here you go, check the scrolling. Scrolling looks just works fine. It's really fast and fluid. I mean, you can judge by yourself if it's good enough. For me, it is, bro. Check it out. Okay, better. Yeah, it is better right now. With analyzing disabled, it is better and on smooth graphics now. Yeah, now it's better. But I don't know why on balance mode was so laggy. It was better on HDR. What the heck? So you see by something just very, very smooth. You could play, you can play uh, on 60 FPS. And uh, I, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I don't know again, I'm going to do that. But I'm going to lower even the resolution later, uh, resolution later on, on 720p maybe. But this, because this is on 1920 or 1080p, it's 1080p resolution. Check it out, so smooth. <laughs> okay. So smooth. Oh. Oh, there you go, there you go. Finally, I don't know how I done that. I don't know how I done it, bro. Ah, there you go, there you go.
Yeah. Anyway, let's test, test the touch screen. Fast. 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 Yeah, it is fast. Anyway, good. Good. Ninja's viewing angles. Probably can see that. Spot on. Beautiful. For LCD IPS, this is what do you get, Ninjas? I mean, nothing super extra, but for the price tag, this is decent. This is decent. Uh, anyway, so let's go to benchmarks. We have to show you benchmarks. Album, no. Album, keep off. And screenshots. And Tutu for the Helio P60. Check it out, Ninjas. 132,000. 133,000. <laughs> It scores it, it scores something somewhere between the Snapdragon 636 and Snapdragon 660. Uh, in the CPU power, it's more powerful than the Snapdragon 636, but in the GPU power, it's not ninjas. Uh, unfortunately, it's not uh, not just because of that. And even if it's more powerful, the games, uh, the Android games, are not yet optimized for this SoC ninjas. Remember that that the most of the game developers are using Qualcomm SoCs to build up their games. So that's why even if it does have some GPU benchmarks or GPU advantage, uh, you won't see it in real life because, again, I'm not yeah, I'm not making a rant. This is not a con with this smartphone. This Helio P60 for me right now is the most favorite MediaTek SoC ever. My opinion, in general, this is the best SoC that they ever made next to the Helio X30, of course. Uh, so what I want to say, PUBG is running 60 FPS, you can play PUBG in 60 FPS, you can play uh, Shadow Gun Legends, Mobile Legends, Rules of Survival, you will see that, you will see that in my full review, so please make sure to check it out. Uh, 4 gigs of RAM, LPDDR4X, there is the SD card support, uh, yes, you can put an SD card inside, fingerprint sensor, face ID, I'm going to just show you that the face ID also works, boom, boom. Boom, ninjas. You can see it by itself. And fingerprint sensor. Check it out. Just a minute. It, it can check. Uh, there you go. Very fast. One of the fastest, I have to admit. Check it out. As soon as I put my finger, it unlocks. Very, very fast. So it seems that they cut with the animations there because it's so fast. They did. They did an amazing job regarding the screen. Look up down. This is where the uh, elephant will win over the Yumi DG in the face ID and in the fingerprint sensor. If that is important for you, you should get the elephant A5. L huge list of sensors. Gyro Let me just go to the sensor app. You will see it does have a gyroscope, so don't worry about it. Let's go to accelerometer, magnetic sensor, gyroscope, light sensor, Proximity sensor, gravity sensor, line and acceleration, rotation, come on, rotation vector and orientation. There is no step counter, unfortunately. No, no, no. Uh, what I noticed is that this smartphone doesn't have a LED notification bar. Unfortunately, it doesn't have it, Ninjas. They couldn't put it somewhere here, so they didn't include it. They didn't include it. 4GE LTE support. We're going to go to 8.64 a little bit to show you. Uh, the bands are B1, B3, B5, B7, B8, and B20. Yeah, B20 is there, so in Europe you can use it. But I don't think so. It's usable in the USA, so don't get this smartphone for USA markets if you are uh, requiring a full support for the 4G LTE. Just remember that. Anyway, let's go to the system a little bit. Let's go next here. Draw sim acceptable. Bluetooth is 4.2. AGPS goes in GPS. Um, it does. Uh, it doesn't have. Uh, basically, it doesn't have. Uh, what I want to say there. Uh, it doesn't have NFC, that's why I want to say. Unfortunately, it doesn't have an NFC. It does support the Volt T, but there's no NFC support with this smartphone, if you need it. I mean, that's not a con for me. I don't even use in my country. We don't even barely, no, nobody even knows what is NFC, but hey-ho. Uh, anyway, uh, 4,000 mAh battery. This beast has a 4,000 mAh battery in jazz. That's amazing. With the Helio P60 and full HD plus resolution, you could get easily full in a day and a half uh, of use with the moderate with the moderate usage. Yeah, with the moderate usage. Uh, let me just go to the battery, to the battery, to the battery. Anyway, you can see myself. Adaptive brightness, sleep mode, battery saver, standby intelligent mode. Everything is there. So ninjas, this is it regarding the Elephone A Pro. My first look uh, impressions here. Let me just try to use maybe different wallpapers. Oh, and thank you, Elephone. They added new, uh, they added new wallpapers. Oh my god, they are so sleek and crispy. Oh boy, amazing wallpapers. I love them. Love them, completely love them. And of course, of course, for the end, I forgot maybe to show you quickly the sound speakers. Let's check here the sound speakers. You will have more details in my full review. But for unboxing and hands-on, this is it. Let's see here.
Okay, not bad. I mean, not bad here. But uh, the quality is not that impressive, in jazz. But the loudness is okay. Sometimes I got telephone or humidity smartphones with really low uh, sound speakers. Their volume is so low. But this one does have a good uh, loudness. But unfortunately, it does lack that kind of uh, uh, bass, deep bass or something. There is no bass at all with this sound speaker that I can feel right now. It is crispy. It is clean. But there is no bass. So just have that in mind. Anyway, the sound speaker doesn't go in the con section, in my opinion. And then just this is it i hope you enjoyed in this small quick unboxing and hands-on of the elephone a5 uh, uh, yes these brands are stepping up ninjas they're getting better and better and finally alhamdulillah right now they include the helo p60 which uh, which is ninjas do not bash helo p60 this is an amazing soc this is uh, probably uh, the best uh, optimized the best developed soc that the media tech ever created i already proved you that with the cheap nokia x5 which has helo p60 and only three gigs of ram check it on my youtube channel you will be uh, shocked you can already check my emulators you can already check my gameplays but i'm gonna still do the emulators and gameplays even with the elephone a5 because it does have a four gigs of ram uh does that doesn't matter for emulators obviously three or four gigs of ram it's gonna have the same performance in the gaming but for the speed test i'm gonna redo my speed test because uh this one is with four gigs of ram while pre previously i've been doing speed tests with the helio p60 with uh which had three gigs of ram anyway subscribe share and like and use my promo links below to purchase this beauty such a quality smartphone in gems such a quality smartphone and indeed feels really steady and uh, uh, you can feel that they spent there. What I want to say here uh, for the end, uh, I don't know why they waste their money on the third camera app. Uh, it's useless, Ninjas. It's completely useless. It's just there, man. There's no point of this camera. It doesn't do anything. I'll just show you right now. Just show you right now. Let me open the camera. Where's the camera? And camera app. So check it out, Ninjas. So if I put here the, my finger on this uh, sensor, Nothing, nothing happens in jazz. You go to stereo, which is the buka mode, you put here nothing. You put there, still not, lens covered, lens covered. So it seems that this one is covered, so it figured out uh, it's not a dummy one, but this one is completely a dummy. This is completely fake. So what, what, I don't even think that this has to do anything with the software. I don't think this is anything. This is just a kind of a gimmick detail, a detail, just a poshy detail to resemble some Samsung smartphones or some smartphones or from Huawei who do have three models on the back in jazz. Nevertheless, it looks really premium. It does look cool, but I hate it. I hate it. If instead, I don't know how, how much this costed, one or one or two dollars, how much it costed. They could spend that on something else for one, two dollars. Maybe they could put IR Blaster. I don't know. But hey ho, bro. Hey ho. Subscribe, share, and like. Peace. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China! That is the gearbest.com and banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!